clicked on this video because you want to add Monkey Dory, Okie Dogie, and Pheasantipity to your Teal Mask collection. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Let's get catching. So in order to get this started, the first thing that you need to do is fully complete the Teal Mask DLC storyline. You'll know you complete this completely because there will be no more objectives in your game. It'll just be you and your map and you thinking, where on earth are these three legendary Pokemon? The first one we're going to find is going to be Monkey Dory. For Monkey Dory, we're going to be heading all the way to the west side of the map out towards this area by Wisteria Pond. When you go over here, you're going to walk onto the middle area of the lake, and then you're going to see Monkey Dory standing right there by that land. Make sure to go ahead and snap a picture of Monkey Dory just for your memories. After that, you're going to engage it in battle. Don't forget that this Pokemon is a poison psychic type. So you don't want to really roll up with what I did, like Iron Valiant, because it is completely weak to that Pokemon. Now, the dangerous things about Monkey Dory is that it has toxic chain, so when it hits you, it has the possibility of poisoning you. So just be aware of that. Now, something you could do at the beginning of these battles is you could throw out a quick ball. Sometimes it's not the prettiest ball to catch legendary Pokemon in, but it's something possible. And I just wanted to try it out, and I happened to get Monkey Dory in one. Just kidding, Monkey Dory actually beat me up completely. I lost a lot of Pokeballs, and I just got tired, and I got it in a quick ball. So that's one legendary done. Let's move on to the next one. The next Pokemon that we're going to be catching is going to be Okie Dogie. Okie Dogie is going to be located northwest of Masui Town. So you want to be able to go all the way up here by the Paradise Barrens area. Once you arrive at the Paradise Barrens area, you're going to want to go a little bit north of this area. Once you go more north from the location you landed in, you're going to see a very laggy Okie Dogie in the background. As you can see, it is bobbling back and forth. Make sure to go up to it, grab your picture, and you can go initiate the fight and go into battle. Pro tip though, you want to make sure to save before every single one of these fights because when you save before a fight, you can just reload it if you make any mistakes, if you KO it, or if your entire team gets knocked out and destroyed. For this fight, make sure you're aware that Okie Dogie is a poison fighting type. My Iron Valiant somehow did okay against Okie Dogie and I had to put it to sleep. A big strategy is you want to get it down all the way to 1 HP. That is something big you want to do in all these Pokemon. Not only that, but you most likely want to be able to put a status effect on these Pokemon. What I did was put it to sleep and then brought it down with false swipes all the way to 1 HP. Luckily, its attacks weren't doing much damage to my fairy type Pokemon, so we were doing pretty okay. I did want to use a Dusk Ball because Dusk Balls does match the colors of Okie Dogie, so it did take a couple of tries. Eventually, I was able to catch my Okie Dogie in a Dusk Ball. Let me know what Pokeball you would catch an Okie Dogie in. By the way, before we head to our third Pokemon location, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll be the first ones to know when something spicy drops. The final Pokemon that we're going to be going for is going to be Pheasantipity. Now, to go to Pheasantipity, you can actually fast travel over to the Kitakami Hall, and from Kitakami Hall, you can head north. And as you continue going north, you'll notice that Pheasantipity is standing there waiting for you outside of a cave exit. Once you see Pheasantipity, make sure to snap your pictures, and then save and go into battle. Please be aware that Pheasantipity is a poison fairy type. Without knowing the typing, I actually thought it would be a flying type. Now, Pheasant Deputy is a little weird because what it wants to do is boost your attack and special attack to confuse you so that you can do more damage to yourself. Pheasant Deputy also has the moveset Roost, so if you knock it down even with your false swiping, it can roost itself back all the way to full HP. So just keep that in mind during this fight and had to take care of. For Pheasant Deputy, I did a different Pokeball strategy. I basically kept knocking it lower and lower via false swipe. I did not use my attack so I wouldn't KO myself, and then I tried to put it to sleep. Pheasant Deputy did tend to wake up more often than other Pokemon. After a really long time though, one of the Pokeball strategies that I used was using a timer ball. Basically, the longer the match goes, the more higher chance that Pokeball has. So the timer ball is pretty good to use, and that's what I ended up catching my Pheasant Dippity in. Let me know what you're catching your Pheasant Dippity in. After you catch all three of these legendary Pokemon, there is no other prompts in the game, and you should be completely set. But have you done this? You should, you should click on this video over here.